So I'm Bruno. I was born in São Paulo, Brazil, and I've been working here at the Nature Institute as the director of the Living Soils Initiative and been here for the past three years. And one of my main interests is our relationship with the world as a whole, but looking at it through the lenses of agriculture and how do we relate to the world and the question of how does um, our way of speaking, thinking and, and seeing helps to create our agricultural reality for the better or for the worse. Mm -hmm. And for the past, I don't know, seven years or so, I've been working very intensively with farm-scale composting. I'm visiting numerous farms here in the U.S., in Latin America, in Europe. On one side, working with this theme of farm-scale composting, of how do you guide a process from beginning to end, and how does that get integrated in the life of the farm, mm -hmm. but having these deeper questions in the background. So then composting becomes, in a certain way, an entry door to touch on these um, deeper um, questions of our relationship with the world. Mm -hmm. So things changed for me in farming when I started to become more concerned and interested with with the way I actually see the world. Mm. So as opposed to having a fantastic recipe regarding, okay, that's how you make compost, you have a 31 CN ratio and you reach the thermophilic phase and you go on a bit like an automaton. Um, the question was, how do I become aware of the particular situation in the particular context, be it here in the Hudson Valley or if I'm out in California, or in subtropical Brazil, for example. And when I first began working with this, my mentor would say, what do I see? And of course, I saw a bunch of compost pile or windrows, but not necessarily I was seeing what he was seeing. And it took a certain time for me to actually begin to read and understand the language of the compost pile, which is embedded within a language of a particular landscape and a particular mm -hmm. farm community and so forth. And the more I began to spend time with these, or with these questions or uh, paying attention to these other things as opposed to just trying to get the proper recipe, the more I began to read and understand the language of the compost pile. Yeah. So the work, part of my work consists in going to farms um, and working with the farmers, but not only with the farmers, but also with other people involved, and, and seeing um, how does the community or the farm as a whole begin to take a collective responsibility for this process and not supposed to stay with one man's okay. shoulder. Um, and so on one side you have can say the biology of it, okay, how do you carry a composting process from beginning to end? But then there's a social component of which is how do you actually integrate that within the dynamics of the farm? Mm -hmm. um, and so that's one side of the work. The other side of the work of Living Soils is working with Air and Free Fibers Chromatography, which is a qualitative assessment of organic matter, and I focus mm -hmm. mostly with soil and compost. Mm -hmm. But my approach to working with chromatography is not so much to have a, a tool to diagnose if the soil is good or bad or if the compost is good or bad, but actually as a learning process to understand this process of decomposition to a composition. So when the compost goes into humification mm -hmm. state and trying as much as I can work with Therian Free Fibers Intention, which was to actually use this picture forming method as a way to develop cognitive imagination. Mm -hmm. So more of a, um, a process or a method, not so much to get answers, but more to um, help me and help others make better questions regarding what's happening within their farm.